Hello everybody, this is Dan, aka Entertainment WF, aka Page Wizard, aka Blah. Anyways, I'm here to address the recent death of Dennis Ritchie. Now, I, I bet if you have no real computational background or just are some programmer doesn't really understand the fundamentals of programming and programming languages, the name Dennis Ritchie won't maybe appeal to you or maybe you won't know who Dennis Ritchie is. Dennis Ritchie today died at the age of 70, and Dennis Ritchie is the person who created C. Well, that's at least what he's well known for, but he also created Unix. Uh, C, if you're not familiar with the programming language, is the basis or precursor to some of the major programming languages we know and currently use in our systems, or even if you use C already. Because C is a very efficient language, it's very good for memory allocation, very good for, for direct manipulation of files and system low-level operations, say assembly. Okay, so I bet you're wondering, well, why is this Dennis Ritchie guy so important? Well, as I mentioned, he created C. So, if you don't know how important C is to programming, I recommend maybe Googling Dennis Ritchie and C. Because he actually wrote the book on it, <laughs> too. So, if you ever went to university to had this the book on the programming language of C, he also was a co-author of that. So, C is a very fundamentally important language because a lot of the modern programming languages, as I mentioned, like C++, of course, were all directly inspired by C. In fact, a lot of the functionality, if not all of them, are covered under C++, or say, if you use C Sharp, a lot of the syntax, a lot of the semantics, a lot of the programming languages, are all following from C. C is a very important language to understand low-level operations on your machine. So you can do driver control, assembly, etc, etc, on C. C is a very important language because it's a what you use with Unix, for example, in the most popular sense, because Unix is one of the earliest operating systems when it comes down to doing operations on processes, threads, etc., etc. But, well, threads came a little bit later, but... The idea of an operating system with Unix really drove the operating systems that we see today. Say, the Mac OS, Steve Jobs, for example, who recently passed away, wouldn't have gone very far without the Unix operating system. The Unix system allowed you to compile your C files, allowed you to execute them, and it allowed you to look at your system, look at your threads, look at anything you needed for any valuable information for your system. So Dennis Ritchie played a very influential role and he's often known as a very important figure in programming languages. So, on that note, if you know the C programming language, I recommend writing a piece of C today, because today is a very sad day in science for that regard. And if you don't, I recommend learning C, because C is a very important language to understand if you want to understand a, a computer, it, like in terms of low-level operations, because you can do all your assembly code in C in some respect. So, with that in mind, I want to say thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a beautiful day.